Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Dino Supercharged Aqua and Purple Ranger figures. I'm going to label this as Wave 2 for now. I might change it, it's kind of confusing. Uh, the first wave of Supercharged figures, which the review isn't out yet, is actually the five Dino Steels, really boring I know, and Supercharged Red. Um, and then these came in a new wave uh, that was brought at Target with the new ones in this wave, or the new figures at least, uh, are these two and then um, Supercharged Red, which was also in the first wave. Um, so yeah, that was just, just a brief history lesson of boringness there, but I do have Supercharged Red, but I'm going to be reviewing him with the first wave of stuff, just so you know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. The important thing is, is that most of that first wave I was pretty bored by anyway, and these are the ones I was mainly excited for. Um, ever since I knocked over poor Ramirez here, um, ever since uh, Dino Charge was announced, I was absolutely most excited for merchandise for uh, Cyan slash Aqua and uh, Gray slash Graphite, because they're essentially like, you know, they are the Spirit Ranger and they reminded me of the Spirit Rangers, and we never really got any good merchandise of them in Japan, specifically figures, so I was really excited for these, um, and, and they're really they're really nice. Um, they're using the same mold as the main Dino Charge figures, which should be obvious, uh, so that's a good thing, uh, but I think they do a really good job. The head sculpt on them is pretty well done. Maybe, maybe, I think if I'm nitpicky, it's a smidge skinny, but it's not as noticeable for me as Graphite's, which just seems super skinny, but um, it's kind of a minor nitpick just because it did seem to have a fatter helmet but overall still uh, a fine job there I think the color wise they did a good job on this guy the differentiating colors look really good they had a really good light color on there and overall just aesthetically I think they did a good job on um, Aqua's figure like I said it's the same exact figure mold as the other one so you have the same articulation solid range of motion around here single knee joint or knee joint. this is a knee guys Dawson Rider on anatomy or bones or whatever swiveling here solid range of motion on his leg Single knee joint there, swiveling. Of course, his head can move all around creepily and stuff like that. You got this little thing on a hinge. So, pretty basic stuff. Just overall, a uh, very nice figure. Like I said, I was particularly excited for this one, and I think they did a solid job on it. Um, just like all other Ranger figures, he just comes with a morpher and then the saber here, which are just the yellow plastic thing. Nothing really spectacularly different about that. As you can see, same goes for Kendall here. Um, She's based on the female mold, and uh, basically the exact same articulation uh, as Pink's, same articulation for the arm as Cyan's uh, that we just went over. Her legs are hindered because of the skirt piece, like it's possible for it to be better, but the skirt piece is like one solid piece of plastic, which kind of prevents it. And as you can see, she does come with the, the default... Um, weapons and her for whatever reason it, it could just be me but like on her figure uh this seems a little skinnier than um pinks i'm not sure why and then the only other real issue i have with this figure is that the purple color here looks almost pink like i i looked at this next to pictures like you know in show pictures and stuff and it's it's hard to tell like i could be nitpicky but it does look like it's leaning towards pink a little bit but they did get the differentiating colors nicely there um and her head can move down a little bit more than other ones like she looks like she's looking down a lot and my only other real complaint on this one is uh, not about necessarily the figure itself, but I wish she had come with uh, a to uh, the toy, uh, a full-on other toy. No, but like the little combined mode of these two to hold. Um, I don't know how it's going to work for Dino Charge because we've only seen her once at the point of this recording. Um, but in in Kyuujer, Kyuu Violet used that combo like mainly, and on the front of the packaging. Uh, she was using it for the promotional image, so I was, was kind of hoping she'd come with that, to, you know, because it's her signature weapon, but whatever. But overall, still a solid figure. I, I still think they did a solid job on this. It's just I have a few more nitpicks about her figure than Aqua's. But overall, still two solid figures. I do enjoy the Action Hero mold, if you watch any of my reviews. And so, these are two very solid figures. Like I said, more of the ones I've been excited for because they're Ranger figures we really haven't gotten anything from in Japan or here yet. So if you are a, a Dino Charge fan and you're looking for something unique, I can definitely recommend these. They're two solid figures. I just said solid figures like 20 million times, guys. So until next time, check out the crazy podcast at RiderVangeRambles.com and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is Solid Dawson Rider, signing out.